Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we are back in antimatter chemistry. Picking up a little bit after we left off. As you can see, you just see the stark wasteland. And why, you may ask? Because I didn't want you to see this. Look, I made us a new place. That's where the old place was. It's not there anymore. We cleaned it up. Let's check this out. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of our new lab slash house. As you can see, we got a couple of... Uh, Plots of land out here for all of our uh, wood tree gathering goodness. We come on in. I went a little crazy with the marble floors. They extend a little further than most houses do, but whatever. It's cool. It's cool. So we got our main little work area in here. Um, I've added some more drawers, got all this set back up, and these are kind of just our overflow. You know, our carbon, our oxygen, our hydrogen, our multi stuff. These are. These are ones that go in here, but they're full, so I kind of put them over here. Got a lot of silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide. And got some white antimatter. Got some gray antimatter. Got some stuff we're going to be doing here in just a minute. <coughs> got a basic setup for now. It's pretty much like the setup we had inside the house. Um, as you can see, I have hydrogen because I have so much just pumping in here and making power. Honestly, it's more just to get rid of it than it is anything else. So, got our system set up. I did make a compacting drawer uh, for the cobble because I just thought that would be a heck of a lot easier. And it is. You can see we have 479, almost 480 of double compressed cobblestone. There's 480, so we got a lot of that. Um, we have a room over here that we can use in the future. Just kind of set up. I'll kind of show you this down here. We go down here. We got ourselves a little a little way downstairs. So I kind of did what I did uh, in the other one where I did it in tiers. So this tier, I'd get more light gray antimatter. This level, I would get more white. And then this level here, I would get just all white antimatter. And I put another portal down here because why not, right? So this is set up. And then we head up to the second floor. And it's just wide open right now. Got some more extra space. I don't know what all we're going to be needing to do in this pack. So if we need space, I'm thinking at some point we may make a power generation room. And that way we can kind of run it down. Got ourselves a sweet little balcony. More just for aesthetics right now. But you never know. We might need it. Sorry about the sniffles, guys. And then up here, we've got our roof farm. So you can see I got some uh, sugar cane on both sides growing. We got our potatoes. We got our, our wheat. I got our cactus going because I need to do that. This is where I put our evaporators with our big infinite water pool. We got all of our melons growing here. And we still have room to be able to do other stuff. And we can look out and see there we go. <coughs> so... We are, I think, set on space for a while, and uh, hopefully we can make this work well. Close the doors, you know, so that the nothing out there can't get in here. But we're pretty good to go. So, all right. Well, let's take a look in the book. And uh, you can kind of see, I did finish the melon quest, and I did finish this fertilizer quest. Um... Both of them were things that we made before. It wasn't insanely hard, but whatnot. So so now, the only quest we have to do right now is to make the deep dark portal. Create a deep dark portal. Stand on the portal. Okay. So to make this, we need triple compressed cobblestone in the corners in the center. Quadruple compressed cobblestone around like that. And as you saw in this chest over here... I got us covered. There we go. So, uh, quadruple goes like this. Not like that. Like this. And then this just goes in all the rest spots. And we've got ourselves a deep dark portal. Nice. Let's go ahead and pop into that. And that is going to give us a, a butt ton of stone torches. Which is good. So I think we'll just kind of sit this guy back here for now. We may move this later. I'm not sure. Let's go and set that down. Now, let's pop into our book and see what it says. 
Enter the deep dark. Warning. The darkness harms you. Make sure you use torches. We got our, and it's going to give us a dev null, which is going to be pretty handy because we really don't need to be mining cobble because we've got this bad, bad boy set up over here. So let's go ahead and go in. We see the swirly swirls coming around, which means we're going. And any second now. Boom. Wow. All right. Now there's always this weird lighting glitch when it comes to this portal. So it's going to break a couple of these torches, make sure all the lighting is good. Now, first and foremost, let's make ourselves a portal uh, waypoint. Don't need to turn it on. Just need to be able to get back here. Okay. So let's go ahead and look in here. That gives us this, this guy. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to grab one piece of cobble. And we're going to open up this guy. And we're going to put that piece of cobble in here. So we don't have to worry about that later. And there we go. All right. So let's take a little look here at chapter three. So chapter three, obviously, we're going to be doing some work inside the, the deep dark. Gather ores. You'll need to dig down to less than Y64. Reason being, you'll only find ores in their natural spawning depths. There's a big open space between you and the bottom. So, we should have been prepared for that. So, we actually have to run back real quick. Because we're going to need to get ourselves a bucket of water. <clears throat> oh, weird it put us upstairs. Okay, well. At least he didn't put us somewhere out in the middle of nowhere random. Did I ever set up my bed? Did I ever make a bed? All right, let's do this. Let's do slash spawn set. No. Slash set spawn. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let, let's see what happens if I do this. Uh, it put us... Ah, oh, put us right out here. We're fine. It said to do that in the book. I wasn't too concerned about it because we really weren't when we went to the nether. That was about it. So, um, yeah, it's really not the end of the world if I don't do it. Nobody should be freaking out about it. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves one bucket of water. And let's head back down and see. So we are looking to get uh, tin lead silver copper and gold oh and that is going to give us a 60k storage drive that is super duper awesome okay cool uh so let's, let's head back in let's do this i'm not a fan of the deep dark but to be honest with you it'll be nice to uh have something else on the horizon other than what white antimatter all right, so let's go ahead and start working our way down. All right. Be careful as we mine to make sure we don't end up murdering ourselves. Make sure the torches are there. All right. Now, what are we at here? We're at 171. We are up here. And you know what, just to be smart, let's do that so we can kind of see where the, the darkness takes us. Because unlike our wonderful antimatter world, mobs can, will, and uh, will most likely very much spawn here. Alright. So I know that there's a gap between this and the bottom. I don't know how far down we have to go. All right, we're still at 160, so we got, we got a ways to go. I'm hoping we're going to hit that gap pretty soon. Make sure we just keep putting up torches so we don't get smacked by the darkness. All right. Hopefully we'll be able to find the ores pretty easily. I don't really know... 
how great the spawn rate is in the deep dark in general, let alone any special spawn, you know, like just like the normal overworld spawn, so. Alright. I am sorry if I'm so sniffly in the video. It's, uh, I think it's more just waking up. I'm not feeling bad, so. <coughs> Alright. Come on, today yet. Let's go. Mm -mm. I would even thought about doing this off camera, as in, like, going to the deep dark, but I figured, you know what? We should probably do that together. Okay, so what do we got here? We got green slate. Okay, that's... That's a thing. If we need that, we know that that's in here. Alright. We're at 130 something. I can't see the little numbers too easy. Alright, we got uh, whatever that whatever that is. What was that? That was uh, blue slate. We can get ourselves an entire rainbow of slate, apparently. Alright, come on. Come on. Let me, let me just... Let's, let's get to the... I'm bored of breaking stuff, and, and the people watching want to see me die, so... Tick-tock there, Gabe. Tick-tock. Hustle it up there, sister. I'm already using ten torches to go down. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, God damn it! Now that I'm here, I don't want to be down there. Let's get our torches ready. Now the darkness is going to hurt us. We want to try and get down here. Oh! <laughs> All right, a quick show of hands. Let's just be honest. Quick show of hands. Who didn't see that coming? Because whoever says right now that they didn't know that was going to happen, honestly, welcome to the channel. That's the only explanation of how someone would not know that that was going to happen. It's... It's inevitable. It's like Thanos. Like this like me complaining that I want to get down there and then instantly dying the minute I do. It's like a Thanos level thing. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see if we can we can use this to our advantage. Teleport and light and light and light. Alright, let's light this up. Let's see if we can get ourselves a little bit of a a, a circle of of uh, wishful th thinking safety because it's not actually going to happen. Okay, oh, there's some creepers. Um, I really don't know if there's any kind of creepy special mobs in this. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. Not interested in finding out. Okay, we seem okay. We seem all right. We seem good. We, I see some some baddies in the uh, in the horizon out here. Let's do this real quick. Let's grab our Devnol and let's kind of block off our little uh, water park slip and slide situation we got going on here. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and head down um, a little bit more and see if we can actually get our hands on some ore. And I'm already seeing stuff. Sweet. Okay, so we got ourselves some copper coming in. Nice. Alright, let's keep uh, heading on down. Why do I have swirlies? Alright. Um, so let, let's see real quick. Let's take a little, little gander in the old book here. <coughs> so 10 is going to be... I never know how to read this. I don't even know why I try. Uh, in the 20s to... Percentage and so I guess anywhere in between. Okay. Um, this one is going to be. Yeah, I don't know how the hell to read that. All right, and then real quick, can we see what the next thing is? Clay and bronze. Okay, so that's going to basically be making a smeltery. So let's see. Let's go ahead to like right here. And uh, all right, so we got our copper. Alright, maybe go down just a scooch more. Uh, let's see if we can kind of get our hands on something else. Uh, let's see how much time do we have. Oh, we still got like a, a while, so. Alright. Keep chugging along here. There's more copper. 
There's some iron. Is that is that one? I mean, I'm gonna get it anyways. But is that one of the uh, one of the the needs? It is not. But yeah, why not? We'll get it anyways. And some more copper. And some more iron. All right. Let's uh, keep on uh, trekking down the road here. What level are we at here? We're at, we're in the 40s. Hey, like me. Um, okay. So lead, lead tin. What was it? Lead tin, lead tin, silver, and gold. Gold will be down a bit. And I, you know, I wouldn't hate finding a couple of, a couple extra diamonds. That'd be nice. All right, we hear we hear the lavas. When I died, I should have grabbed more water. All right, of course now I found water. Let's see, let's do that. Let's see, maybe maybe, maybe doing a little spelunkin might help us. You guys feel like spelunkin? First of all, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a bucket of this water, like so. All right, let's get these torches down. Come on. All right, so we got a lot of. I just saw lead. I'm just trying to light this place up for safety, for safety reasons. All right, Turn over here, and whatever that is. Okay, so in this cave might actually be easier for us. So let's let's do that. We still may have to go a little bit lower on gold. And no, I don't remember how, what level everything's at. All right, so there's a lot of iron here, which is cool, but let's kind of see if we can focus on the, uh, all right, we got some tin, perfect. Okay, let's grab what we can of this. All right. <clears throat> uh, what did I see over here? Didn't I see lead somewhere over here? Let's, let's, let's go up a little bit here. Cause I see some more stuff right there, but let's light this up. I do not want any surprise house guests. Okay, this place really opens up, which is good. It's good. It's good. Not for our safety, but for our uh, ore collecting. There's a lot of iron in here. Okay. Not an insane amount of mobs. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can get. Here's 10 again. Uh, <clears throat> I need to find some lead. Some gold, some silver. We may actually have to go lower for some of these. Uh, here's some more tin. Should be getting close on that one. Got 12. Uh, now, didn't I see lead? There we go. That's what I wanted. All right. And is silver and lead around each other, or is it silver and something else? Or, or neither, apparently. All right. Let's, um... I need that right now. Actually, I do, but whatever. And you know what we should do if we're smart, which, you know, I'm not saying I'm smart, but it doesn't hurt to try every once in a while, right? Gotta be a team player here. Let's go ahead and grab some of this coal so we can make some more stone torches because we've already gone through a stack. All right. And then if we do this, take out half, make these into those, put that with this, and there we go. We got a bunch more. We just get more coal. Keep going. Sweet. All right. Let's uh, let's keep lighting this up over here. Let's see what we can find. That's a that's a weird little setup we got going on there. It kind of goes back up. We'll leave that dark down there in case we need it. Okay. So let's uh, see if we can get lucky here. So we got 12 tin, we got 5 lead, no silver, no gold, and the copper's taken care of. And I didn't see any more. I guess let's just keep kind of going back this way. And then I know we still need to go down more. And mind you, once again, as I always say, this isn't super exciting. So there's a good chance I may go... Uh, running around these caves in between episodes. But Modi, what if you die? Oh, don't worry. There'll be plenty of dying with you guys here, even if I die off camera. 
I just heard an Enderman. We hear a bat. There's a whole lot of slate going on. Let's go ahead and kind of just clean up these water areas here. See what we can find. All right, there's more tin. Exactly. So this one, this hopefully, yeah, this will finish us off on tin. At least for the quest. There we go. Let's grab a little bit extra. It doesn't hurt to have. All right. <coughs> All right. So I think lead and or silver and gold are going to be lower. Of course, we're at. Well, no, we're still up in like the 50s. We're still pretty high up. Is that damn bad again? Let's make sure we uh, keep ourselves safe here. All right, let's try and get down to a low point. I would actually like to find where our other stairs were, which should be right over here. Yeah, right there. Okay, so let's continue on this. All right, we'll go ahead and just kind of keep this going like that. We'll keep working our way down. I mean, we can just kind of go to diamond level, and that should help us find gold. But we still need to find lead and silver as well, so. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Where are we at? We're, we're in the 20s. Alright. Mid to high 20s. Alright, let's see if we can get down to that magic number. And then we can really start using a hammer to kind of open up things. And I think that'll help, too. We don't really... We're pretty much at the end of this episode. So so I think what I'm going to do... Uh, we didn't accomplish a lot of quests, but this was more... Uh, what have we got here? What have we got here? Magnesium. Okay. Um, what do we got there? What's that? Runestone. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. We've, uh, we did open up a new area. We're really going to kind of open up, I think... Uh, with the chemistry stuff, being able to break a lot of this stuff down. So as opposed to having to break down basic things to get, say, copper or iron, well, we could just, we have copper iron now. So that'll, that'll uh, kind of change up the thing. All right, so we will actually want to be here. All right, so let's just, as I do the outro, we will kind of, what, what is that? What did I get? Lithium, that's not what we need. All right, guys, we're going to wrap things up here. I will find the rest of these ores in betwixt episodes and be ready to go with some more chemistry action uh, very soon. And uh, we ho I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments. Oh, diamonds. Diamonds. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comments section. Um, oh, my hammer got all buff. Look at my buff hammer. That sounds weird. Um... But hey, guys, it is the beginning of March. It's my birthday month. I'm not a young man. I'm not going to be getting a whole lot of extras of these. Is that silver? Did I just get silver? I got silver. Sweet. Um, so yeah, why don't you help ring in the wonderful month of March with, with your pal Modi? You can do that by becoming a Patreon. Go check out the Patreon link down below. I honestly, guys, I, I'm, I mean it in every way, shape, or form. I want you guys to come join. I want you guys to be part of the family. Go check out the Patreon link down below. Come hang out. Have some fun. Have some laughs. Have a good time. I'd love to see you guys. And I think you guys would have fun. So go check out the Patreon link. Get access to our six different Minecraft servers. We just uh, did some resets. We got a new pack up there. A bunch of other things. So go check out the website. Come join right now. If you've been procrastinating on it, just do it. If you've been a Patreon before, come back and because and, and, we miss you and we're scared and, and take your coat. And last but not least, if you want to get your very own server, just like the ones we use for all of our multiplayer stuff, you guys know the drill. You need to get your butts over to Host Havoc. Use the link down below. That way they know you're coming from one of our videos. And until the next episode of, hey, look, Mom, I'm in a hole. I want to thank you all so much for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.